Hey, Psych2Goers. Do you ever find yourself looking back on experiences wondering what you could have done better? Oftentimes, we can struggle with our feelings of self-worth and confidence for not doing well enough or for not being a certain type of person, especially in a day and age where everything we do can be scrutinized. It can be difficult to feel like your best every day. If you've been feeling stuck or down, this is a reminder that you are a great person and that you're valued. Here are five signs you are a better person than you think. Number one, you're ready to learn from challenges. What is the mindset you adopt when facing challenges? According to Carol Dweck, a psychology professor at Stanford University and author of the book, Mindset, people can be categorized into having a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. Someone with a fixed mindset has the belief that qualities such as intelligence or abilities are things that are set in stone. On the other hand, Someone with a growth mindset believes that these qualities can be improved through hard work and feedback from others. So what can this tell us about ourselves? It can tell us that your success can be determined by your own self perceptions and beliefs. By reframing the way you perceive challenges, you might find yourself embracing the process and overcoming obstacles with more resilience. You might find that you're stronger than you think and can achieve more than you might believe. Number two, you confront your biases and take responsibility for your mistakes. Do you sometimes struggle with admitting that you're wrong? We've all had our moments where we struggle to accept that we made a mistake. However, acknowledging your mistakes and making amends can be a sign of maturity and respect. Many people have the misconception that being a good person comes down to not making mistakes, but in reality, it comes down to taking responsibility. According to psychologist, Dr. Dolly Chu, being a good person means confronting our wrongdoings rather than trying to be perfect. So if you're someone who is not afraid of making mistakes and takes responsibility for them, that's a sign of a great person. Number three, you're compassionate and act with good intentions. Being compassionate and acting with good intentions are sure signs that you're a better person than you think. According to psychologist and author Rick Hansen, one of the ways you can find out if you're a good person is by reflecting on your thoughts, actions, and words. If you constantly find yourself leaning towards goodness, such as supporting people with positivity rather than focusing on the negatives, being more forgiving with someone who did something wrong, or showing compassion for those going through hard times, then that's a sure fire sign that you're a better person than you think. Number four, you make time for others, but also yourself. Willingly making time for yourself and others is a sign of great character. Considering other people's wants, needs, and opinions is a valuable thing and studies have shown that helping others can have a positive effect on people's psychological and physical health. As a result, the feelings of accomplishment and satisfaction you get from helping someone can be very rewarding. At the same time, it's important to make time for your own wants and needs. Believe it or not, treating yourself with the same kindness that you show others can make you a better person. You might ask yourself, how does making time for myself make me a better person if I'm not helping others? Isn't that kind of counterintuitive? Well, when you take time for yourself, you end up feeling better. And when you feel good about yourself, it can directly impact how you interact and help others too. You're also setting a great example for self-care. And last but not least, number five, you fit your own description of a good person. Describing a good person is very relative and most people will have different opinions on what it means. Therefore, not fitting the description of a good person by someone else's definition doesn't necessarily make you a bad person. According to Dr. Paul DePompo, a psychologist and author based in California, categorizing your actions into good or bad might lead you to feel worse about yourself, especially when you feel like you did something wrong. Instead, Dr. DePompo suggests that you think of three to five characteristics that you think a good person has and see if more than half of these fit you. That way, your measure of a good person will be from your own interpretation of what good entails all in all, being a good person can be very personal and relative to how you perceive it. These points serve as a reminder to those that might be struggling to help you see that you're a better person than you think and that you're stronger than you feel right now. While this is not a definitive guide to being good or a great person, we hope that you enjoyed watching this video and learned something valuable. If you were able to relate to any of these signs, then chances are you're a great person and you should feel confident and proud. How would you describe a good person? Do some of these traits reflect your own personality? Leave us a comment below. We hope you enjoyed watching and would like to thank you for the love and support you give to our channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. As always, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.